I think I've just lost every right to call myself an artist. What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. At this point you might know that one of my creative hobbies is doing art, specifically drawing. So I thought it would be fun to attempt and draw my own face within half an hour. I'm a perfectionist so I'm not gonna give myself more time, otherwise I'm gonna be here for a couple of weeks. But I've seen a bunch of people do this challenge online before, so that's where I got the idea from. As much as I'm into hyper-realism, unfortunately I'm not skilled enough to do it myself. So this is definitely gonna be a challenge, but I'm sure a fun experience. I ran out of A4 paper, so we're gonna have to create one ourselves. I've included myself in my own art before, but never to an extent where it was hyper-realistic. I just like to occasionally put myself in there, but I'm never really the main focus, unless it's a self-portrait. And now saying this out loud made me realize that I've actually only drawn myself from the side before, so it's gonna be interesting to do it from the front. Okay, so we have A3 now. Mm -hmm. Very nice, clean cut. Okay, so there it is. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna draw in charcoal just because that's what I'm most skilled in and I don't really have time to go full-on color chalk pastel. So we're gonna go charcoal, which is special enough if you compare it to pencil. I'm sure it's gonna be a bit messy, but I've worked with it tons before, so I know what I'm getting myself into. I would say the first step is to take a reference picture. Another important point before I get into it is that portraits aren't my strength. Besides that, I only have 30 minutes, so I don't think I'll be creating a proper masterpiece that I'll actually be proud of, but it's a fun activity. However, first things first, Cody Ray art authentication stamp is on the paper because, you know, regardless of whose hands this one day ends up in, we want to bless them and we're manifesting that my name will be worth something one day. I will start by sketching with pencil. I don't want to waste more than 10 minutes on this. So, um, timer is on. I'm gonna look at the picture while we're at it. I'm really bad with proportions. I'm good at shading, I'm good at architectural stuff, but faces, I'm a bit of a challenge. Um, ooh, ooh. Where's the light coming from? Everywhere, great. Okay, okay. The, the pencil sketch is done. It looks promising so far. I have about 22 minutes left, so let's get into the charcoal. If you don't know from my previous videos, I always wear latex gloves when doing art just because I'm not bothered to get my hands properly dirty. Okay, here we have the charcoal. I don't think I've ever attempted to draw a proper portrait of myself, so this is like a first for me. Mm -hmm. I have to say shading changes everything. When I made the decision to film this video, I didn't think about the fact that I usually don't talk while I draw. So I hope this isn't too boring. When I do art, I listen to music and I just zone out and I'm in my zone. And then at some point I get so exhausted and I just want to throw the piece away. But then again, I look at it and I appreciate it and then I'm happy again. It's an emotional roller coaster, I have to say. Okay. If you do art yourself or if you want to attempt this, a hint I can give you for faces is something that immediately adds depth is shading under the eyes because everyone is naturally darker underneath the eyes. And once you add that, it immediately adds depth and more life to your face. And I usually don't hurry with my art. So the fact that I'm hurrying right now is making this unintentionally abstract, if I can call it that. Now that I just said that, I actually don't even know how I'm gonna judge this. Probably whether or not it actually looks like me a bit. Because I can already tell that it's not gonna be hyper-realism. <laughs> it's gonna be really funny to have a self-portrait, like a proper one. Because as I said, I've never even attempted to make one. But I might even just hang this up in my room for fun. I've decided to start with the hair. And it's looking rough. I'm making myself look borderline like a mixture of Mozart and Beethoven. 
in case you were wondering there's actually a reason why i'm not showing you the piece while i'm doing it because i want it to be a surprise like a, you know <laughs> this is the finished piece because art is definitely a trust the process thing and i don't want you guys to just click away because you don't like it besides that art is something extremely subjective and usually i'm the one who doesn't like anything i should get a little bit of credit for trying i don't know how often i've already said that portraits aren't my strength but you know there was an attempt and that should be appreciated uh, usually I draw while standing up just because there's so much extra charcoal or chalk pastel dust that falls off of the paper while you're drawing because this is just compressed dust. I'm kind of spreading it everywhere. I'm getting very, very dirty. Please be aware of that. <laughs> How much time do we have left? Okay, we have 10 minutes left. Let's make the most of it. The best part is definitely the clothing just because it's more structured and... <laughs> I'm just not that good with faces. I, I really can't do faces, especially not if they're supposed to look like someone. Unless it's a side profile, pff, yeah, the clothing is definitely the best part. Uh, because I'm pretty good with shadows and structures and where things go and how light is supposed to behave, but just not in a face or in a human body. However, the human body is actually better than a face. The face is really the most difficult part for me. We have five minutes left. Five minutes left, and now it's time for erasing some stuff. Erasers come in handy when you want to add highlights to certain parts. It's great for the hair, it's great for edges, if you have determined a light source. It can really add a lot of depth if you use it correctly. Um, for example, a perfect place to always erase doesn't matter if it's pencil charcoal or chalk pastel is on the tip of the nose because regardless of where the light comes from that will never be darker than here or here or like here depends on your facial features but the tip of the nose will always be on the lighter side so you can always erase here 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 just the parts that stand out oh great i just created an orange dot on my chin because this side of the eraser is very, very dirty with orange chalk pastel because I used it in the work I'm currently creating. And now I have an orange dot here. So I think I've just lost every right to call myself an artist. This is really not my finest work. I'm gonna present to you, to be honest, as I said, definitely not my finest work. If you haven't seen any of my other art, please make sure to check out the video I've created about my art because this is borderline embarrassing. But yeah, it was a fun activity. As I said, the clothing is probably the best part. It, it's okay, but it doesn't perfectly resemble me. It's not realistic. The hair is kind of rough as well, but I do like how the this area turned out. I like how the eyes partially turned out. Not a huge fan of the overall image, but could have been way worse. Now let's sign it. I think this was definitely a fun experience because I like putting myself in new situations. I have never been under time pressure for an artwork. I have never attempted to create a self-portrait. So I'm glad I captured it on camera because I will probably never do this again. Not the self-portrait part, but the time part because I think art should take as long as it needs to take. So this was definitely more a game or a challenge to me than a proper creational process of an art piece. But I hope overall that you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching if you've made it this far. Definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments and take care. Bye.